Hi, I'm Pino Luongo, the one and only. Uh, if you are in New York, you might have heard of me. If you have not, you're going to hear about me now. And you're going to find out quickly that I have an opinion about food, especially Italian food. But more important, I have a passion. And my passion sometimes always create my number one favorite dish in any form, shapes, and condition. When it comes to pasta, I love many different pasta. But if I can tell you which one is my favorite, simplest pasta to prepare, is the one I'm going to show you now. It's easy. The time that it requires to cook the pasta, the sauce is ready. It requires just a little bit of skills and good passion and good love for spaghetti alla rustica. Rustica in Italian means rustic. What's rustic about? Onions, canned tomato sauce, olive oil, Parmesan cheese and spaghetti. That's it. You can't ask for anything that is so minimal in, in ingredients and so easy to prepare. But the results are outstanding. And the time to prepare all of this is the time that you need to cook the pasta. Seven, eight minutes. Depends what you like to use. I like to use spaghetti number 11 in any commercial brand. Barilla, Buitoni, Ronzoni. Number 11 is what you want to use. Um, so let me let me start to show you how this dish works. Number one requirement: I like to use a big pot, even if I cook only a portion of pasta, which is basically 100 grams. This is we call it the ring. If you can have pasta into the ring, or you finger like this, that's a portion. Now, if you have a huge hands, a different story. But the normal human being normally has this kind of size hands. That's 100 grams. This 100 grams of pasta go is almost a quart of boiling water. Okay? Why do this? Because I want to see the pasta tumbling into the water and cooking fast. The way we do it, there is a game in Italy called Shanghai, which you basically put in the middle, and you let it fall down like this. The old spread. And then, either with your hand, or if you cannot really deal with the steam, with the tongue or the fork, you slowly turn them inside the water, like a swirl. So now you know they're going to cook even. To make sure that it's going to boil and cook fast, I'm going to use this simple tool on the lid, my pan. Next, for this dish I'm going to use half of an onion. And basically what I want you to do is just Slice very thin, as much as possible, without slicing your finger. Now you put it aside. Then you do what I call in time the little moon dance. You don't want to chop them grossly, finally, you just want to chop them up. Okay. Half honey. Now, I need this. The pasta is cooking. Nice and uh, happy. You want to see the pasta cooking happy. It's an entire definition of that, which basically means it's bubbling and it's moving inside. In this dish, I'm going to do a little twist. I'm going to put a little twist on it. You want to have the onion softened slightly caramelized, so I'm going to use a tablespoon, more or less a tablespoon of uh, butter, and a nice swirl of olive oil. And put them into the pan. It's nice to smell. I love it. I love the smell of it. Reminds me of old days back when I was a kid, what was going on? I can smell my mother's cooking from two blocks away. Sometimes I can even tell you what she was making. Because she used to cook great. Right? She's still cooking great, right? but now she's getting old. Now, the pasta is cooking here, al dente. Very al dente. So, it's going to need another couple more minutes. You see, that's what you want to see. You want to see a cascading now, separated. You don't want to see them lumping together. 
That's why you need lots of water. Don't be stingy on water. Water costs nothing. Put lots of water and you're gonna have a great al dente pasta. Now, you see what I'm doing here? I'm slowly caramelizing the onions, which is a combination of the butter gives them a nice, nice round flavor. The olive oil cooks them down. I want to reduce the heat right now a little bit because I want to slow down the cooking a little bit. Make sure they don't burn. But I want to get to the point that they are soft. Soft to the touch, soft to your palate. And more important, maintain the great fragrance. This dish, it's basically something that in the countryside where I grew up would be the first thing to offer you if you become an, an unexpected visitor or guest into the house for lunchtime says, let's get some rustica going, which is a bowl of pasta, spaghetti with onions. In the Italian pantry, you're always going to find onions, you're always going to find canned tomatoes, you're always going to find pasta. Otherwise, if you don't find, when you're in Italy, if you don't find someone's house this ingredient, you're not in an Italian family, you should run out of it fast. So, it's time to introduce canned tomatoes. I use regular Italian canned tomatoes. I like them whole with their own juice. I like to puree them because that's what you want. You don't want to see these skimpy, yellowy plum tomatoes and, and water and tomato paste on it. So spend an extra penny because a good tomato sauce, a ca good canned tomatoes makes the whole, all the difference. You see, I put basically enough to surround the onions. And I'm cooking them together. Don't believe that making a good sauce of pasta, the quantity will achieve results. Pasta dish is like a good, good Armani soup. You gotta fit it perfectly. The amount of pasta and the amount of sauce go neck to neck. Not too much sauce and less pasta, not too much pasta and less sauce. Just the perfect balance. And how do I know? But by, by now I know, I'm 53 years old, I've been eating pasta since I was three months old, so I guess I know. But you get used to it by following the recipe. The recipe gives you specific amount of quantities. Just remember, overcome the popular belief that more sauce makes it better. No, it actually disgusts me. I really like the perfect balance, okay? Look, this pasta now is very al dente. And we do it like we do it in the old fashioned way. We go from the pot to the pan. If some water goes inside the sauce, so what? It's gonna cook, it's gonna cook down. And now you have a spaghetti which is extremely al dente that is going to cook, eat to the tomato sauce. And that's what you want to achieve. And you stay there, you stay with it. You know, you keep it company. You don't run away from it. You just make sure that it cooks with you. It cooks perfect. Balance. I love, I love the look. I love the way it comes around. It's coated together. And there is nothing else to it. It's just simple, natural reaction of a perfect balanced tomato sauce and pasta. Always a drizzle of olive oil at the end, always. Now, the blessing of Italian cooking. It's it. This dish is ready. You don't need three star chef to make a great dish like this. All you need is your desire to cook real, balanced, excellent, truly Italian food. It's always important for me, so what I'm gonna do is gonna clean up the edges. I like a little pepper. How do you say in English? What do you got about? It's right here. It's a great, simple dish of spaghetti alla rustica. My style.